Hi. The movement action allows the figures of the activated unit to move. Each figure may be moved up to their movement characteristic. That can be found in the unit's entry. Let's take a closer look at the British Regular Infantry's entry. Each model's abilities are defined by a set of characteristics. For example, here's the British Regular Infantry. First of all, it shows the unit type, the morale level, the number of models that must be in the unit, movement value in inches, shooting value, showing how much you must roll on a six-sided dice to hit an enemy, aggressiveness, the number which you must roll to hit an opponent in melee, the defense value, and the point cost of one model. Also the weapons that each model of the unit has, and traits. These are special rules that the unit has. At the moment, we'll concentrate on the movement. Here we have a unit of British regulars, and I've just flipped their activation card, giving them two actions. As I'm out of firing range of my opponent's units, I'll be moving up. The British regulars movement value is 4 inches. There are a few important rules to remember while moving your unit. Before the game, each unit must designate a unit leader. It should be easily recognizable. This is only for the purpose of movement. At the end of the movement action, each model in the unit must be within their movement value of the leader. In this case, the sergeant model is my unit leader. And after movement, other models in the unit must be within 4 inches of the sergeant. In any other occasion, the unit leader does not matter. Also note that the leader is the last model that you will remove from the unit as a casualty. During movement, your models may freely move through other friendly models, as long as their movement does not end in or on another friendly model. Unless you move into melee with the opponent, your models may not finish their movement within one inch of your opponent's figure, but we will cover melee in a separate video. It is easier to move over open ground than through a dense forest. In muskets and tomahawks, terrain is divided into three categories. Difficult terrain, such as a light wood, rocky area or a stream. Very difficult terrain, such as swamps, dense forest or a very rough ground. And obstacles, like walls, hedges or barricades. When a model moves in or into a terrain, it suffers a penalty to its movement. Difficult terrain gives a penalty of minus 2 inches. Very difficult terrain gives minus 3 inches. Obstacles can be climbed over by losing 2 inches from your movement, as long as the obstacle itself is not higher than the model, in which case you cannot move through the obstacle at all. Two things to remember. The movement penalties are cumulative. For example, you may want to move through a thick forest and climb over a wall. The penalty is a massive minus 5 inches. The second thing to remember is that movement value can never be lower than 1, so you can always move at least 1 inch. So my British regulars can move up to 4 inches. Keep in mind that moving through terrain gives a penalty to your movement. And at the end of my movement, all of the models in the unit must remain within 4 inches of the leader. And unless I engage my opponent in melee, I can't end the movement closer than 1 inch of the enemy. In the next video, I will explain to you the shooting action. Keep it safe, and I will talk to you in the next one.